Well, new information on yesterday's deadly helicopter crash in New Jersey. Investigators say they expect to spend days at the scene in South Brunswick gathering evidence. They say it appears the helicopter broke apart in the air. And new at five, we are hearing from a bird watcher who witnessed the crash. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo is live in the newsroom with the very latest. Anthony? Sade, Lauren, investigators right now are looking at three things. The pilot, the environment, and the helicopter itself. Joseph Yitzhak of Israel was a seasoned pilot who flew for an airline overseas. That bird watcher who witnessed the tragic crash says if anything really stuck out to her, how bad the wind was. It was scary. It was close to us. Beverly Teresco was only about 75 yards away when she saw the helicopter spinning out of control. She was taking pictures of birds when she was instead compelled to photograph trouble in the skies. It's not something you want to see in your lifetime. And my heart goes out to that family. I really pray for them. Today, a salvage crew out at the crash site in South Brunswick, where the single engine copter went down near Carnegie Lake yesterday at around 3.45 p.m. The 44-year-old pilot, Joseph Yitzhak, killed. A fire department drone now being used to aid in the NTSB investigation. The helicopter actually went out of control first and then proceeded to have a, suffer a catastrophic failure. So it does not appear that a catastrophic failure existed First, authorities say the helicopter took off from Princeton Airport only about three miles from the crash site. It went down just four minutes later. The copter completely crushed upside down in a heavily wooded area. Investigators say they'll spend up to four days gathering evidence where the chopper remains in about five feet of water. It's going to be collecting all of the non-volatile memory not just electronic memory, but also the memory of individuals and witnesses. Including Beverly, whose photos are a key piece of visual evidence. Immediately, the second he went down, I called 911. And Beverly flagged down first responders, but sadly that pilot had already suffered massive injuries. The evidence so far indicates that the helicopter broke apart in the air, but only after some sort of other trouble. A full investigation could take up to a year with a preliminary report available in up to 10 days.